Okay, people, what we're going to do on this one is we're going to look at merging photographs together. Um, quite a lot of other graphics packages call this stitching images together, which simply means I want to create a panorama of several other photographs. Um, so if you've got a point and shoot camera which doesn't have a large lens, what you can do is just take several snaps and then using this software you can put them back together again. Now if you've been following the rest of the um, Photoshop videos that I've been creating which you can get from pcteach.me, um, within there they've all been sort of centralized around one area which is a holiday in Egypt. And the no change here, I'm afraid. I'm going to bore you again with some more of my Egyptian photos. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to join about four photographs together to create one panorama. Now, for you to do this, what we have to do is we have to use um, Adobe Bridge. This is the easiest way of you getting into it. So if you've purchased Photoshop, Adobe Bridge comes free of charge with it. So if you go and start that up, what you then need to do is at the top of the screen, you need to choose the location where your photographs are. So you start from the desktop to your computer to then the drive and then to the folders where the images are kept. So I've already got to where I need to be. So I'm just going to scroll across at the bottom of my thumbnails. And here we are. These are the images I want to uh, merge. I'm just going to move them to the left. So we've got this image, which is the columns, followed by this image, which is just a little bit further over, and then followed by this one over by the door. And then finally, this one over here, which is the rest of the columns. Now, it's a magnificent sight, but looking at them individually doesn't really give you much um, excitement. So what we're going to do is using the control key or shift key, whichever you prefer, you will click on all the images that you want to actually work on. So here's all my four. Now before we go into creating the um, merged image, I just want to talk about how clever the software is because what we've got here is although these photographs on their own look okay, what we do have as a problem is the perspective issue. Now if you notice, can you see how, um, let's take an example here, um, yes, can you see how this here is going up at this angle? So well, what would we say that's at? That's probably um, 20 degrees going up from horizontal, but if you look at this one, it's not so much 20 degrees, it's slightly less, but it's also more twisted and further out. So the problem is that if I just slap them next to each other, they're not going to work. Now with the um, Photoshop option of Photo Merge, you don't have to worry about any of this. So how do we do it? Well, with the images selected, we go to the Tools menu, and in the Photoshop menu, you should see Photo Merge. Now what this does is it jumps you into Photoshop and then activates the photo merge um, option. Let me just move this into view. And so we have all sorts of different options. We'll have a look at a couple of the other ones, but let's just um, cut to the chase here. We want to see the um, full-blown image. And on the left, what have we got? Well, we've got perspective here. Well, if you look at the sample, it's pretty much similar to what I want to try and achieve. So with perspective selected, what am I going to do? Well, I could click on OK. Well, I'll tell you what, we will click on OK. Let's just do that. Now, to save time on the video, I won't bore you with the details, but what will go on is that um, these images will come in and then the computer will work out how to fit them all together. So um, I'll just pause this until the job's done. Okay, so here's the results. Look at this. Um, it looks pretty good. Can you see what it's done? What it's done is it's done some um, transformations on some of the images to rotate them, stretch them, and then the one in the middle is pretty much flat because that's the center of the image, and then it goes off to the side again. But as a result, look at the actual image. It is fantastic. You can't really tell where one image starts and where one image finishes. Now, interestingly enough, I've ran this several times on these images and each time the software picks a different area um, of blending in. It, it's, it's interesting and fascinating how the same bit of software can change constantly, but it does quite a good job. I mean, look at that. What it looks like there is it looks like a page tear, but it's worked out via color composition the best place for the images to put, be put together. And we have got something which is extremely high resolution, um, but you would just have no idea at all 
that you are looking at four photographs put together. So all that would be left to do here would be, I would say, you would probably do a crop. So at this level I will just click on the crop tool and I would probably select, yeah, I've got to be careful here, select about there and I'm not too bothered about the edges yet and then we just press enter for it to um, create our image. So what I can do now with Photoshop tools, and I've shown some of them already, is we can fill in the sky to get rid of the um, the gaps and also fill in the, the sides there and there you have it. You have a panorama complete and it's absolutely fantastic. Now I did say we're going to have a look at some of the other options so I'm going to close this down, not save any changes and we're going to go back into Bridge. Now you should already have your images selected, if not please select them again and let's have a look at the other options. So it's Tools, Photoshop and Photo Merge. So dialog box is back up, what do we have? Well regardless of layout, we'll, we'll be playing around with those in a second. On the right hand side what are these options at the bottom? Well blend images together, well Duh. if you want to actually stitch your images together you want to blend them so it will do the color um, composition it will work out mediate what the colors should be vignette removal um, I've not really use this that much but um, if you were taking a photograph from a car you may see um, a little bit of um, bleed shadow or sorry reflection inside inside the vehicle well vignette removal would find those bits and get rid of them a good example of where you would see it on these is if you've scanned photographs in then sometimes you will get a little bit of um, funniness on the edges so what it will try and do is get rid of them and the geometric distortion, um, probably perverting it to its um, most extreme use, would be if you had a fisheye lens camera, so the whole image is stretched around the sides. Using geometric distortion, it works out via algorithm how to flatten the image. Well, my camera doesn't do that, maybe yours does, so you may want to have a play around with it. What I'm going to do though is just talk about some of the other options around the side. None of them are very, very um, difficult, they're not rocket science. Um, cylindrical, if I just OK that, we'll see the results. Again, I'll pause the video to save time. So here we are, I bet you're wishing Photoshop was this quick when you're doing your images. Um, but what you'll see here is rather than it being more like a three-dimensional image, can you see how it's bending the images round to straighten them up in some cases. In the previous example they were leaning in slightly but can you see the bulge here? This is just not right. This is not a lifelike image but it all depends on what you're stitching together. If the image was a lot of um, round things rather than um, rectangular you may find Sphere works better to, um, for those examples. Um, so what else do we have? Well I'll just close that down and we'll look at some of the freakier ones now. Um, so tools, Photoshop, photo merge. Okay, so what can we do here? Well, let's go for something quite bizarre. Let's do spherical and let's okay that. So here we are, um, spherical. So it's actually done quite a good job, better than I was expecting. Um, but can you see now, if I was standing in the middle, the walls are going up to the side and, and also that way. So it's almost like a seesaw effect. Um, <clears throat> but in the background, that looks reasonably good. But unfortunately, it is not good um, for that, um, for, for my example. But you may find your images um, uh, equally as good using these different options. So at the end of the day, it's not a very difficult subject to talk about, but it's pretty well hidden in Photoshop, you may think. Um, I did. I didn't know where it was until I, I, I discovered it one day by going into Bridge. And Photo Merge, I personally think, is... Um, a superb option and um, it's well worthy of your time. Have a play. Um, if you want to see some images I'll be posting some up on pcteach.me, probably these, and then you can have a play for yourself. But by all means go and have a play with all these options and if you have any questions you know the website. Okay, thanks.